So guys, I haven't got Fallout installed in this computer, but once you find Fallout on your Epic Games launcher, you want to click on the three dots, and then you want to click on Manage, then you want to click on Verify Files, and you want to verify the files. For the second step, we're going to head over to Search and type in Task Manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to look for Epic Games Launcher. You might need to scroll down to find it, but once you find it, you want to click on it and then click on End Task. Then you want to head over to the Details tab, and then anything that says Epic Games Launcher or Fallout on it, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in graphic settings. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on browse right here. Then you want to head over to this PC, click on your C drive, scroll down until you find program files. And then you want to scroll down again until you find Epic Games. Then you want to click on Fallout 3. Then you want to click on Fallout 3 GOTY English or whatever other language that you may have. Then you want to find the EXE file for Fallout 3. You want to double click on it and then it will appear right here. Then you want to click on Options, then you want to click on High Performance, and click on Save. You also want to do the same thing again, so you want to head over to Browse again, click on this PC, click on your C drive, click on Program Files, and then click on Epic Games, click on Fallout 3, then click on Fallout 3 GOTY English, then you're going to have also Fallout 3 Launcher.exe, so you want to add that as well, and then click on Add. I don't have it because I haven't got Fallout installed on this computer. So once you do that, you want to click on Options, then you want to also select High Performance for that as well, and then click on Save. For the next step, we're going to head over to Search and type in Device Manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to expand Display Adapters. Then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on Update Driver, and then click on Search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then you want to go back and click on Browse My Computer for Drivers, and click on Let Me Pick from a List. Then you want to install the second one that comes up, click on Next and install that. After you complete all the steps in this video, restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.